What up folks, once again I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Let's take a look at this article from Ars Technica, FBI NABS, Nigerian business scammer who allegedly cost victims millions. That's right friends, this isn't your standard Nigerian print scam. Man, that scam's been going on since even before the time of the internet. But if you haven't heard of that scam, you better look it up. This guy scams the big boys and he likes to flaunt his cash. And it's his hubris that gets him caught ultimately. I can't believe the look on this guy's face. Like, Look at this guy. My 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 older brother uh, likes to pose like this sometimes, so it's uh, it's it's extra funny. Anyways, the U.S. government has gained gained custody of a Nigerian man who was accused of participating in massive fraud and money laundering operation. The defendant, Ray Hush Puppy Abbas, has uh, amassed 2.4 million followers on Instagram, where he flaunts his uh, access to luxury cars, designer clothing, and private jets. The feds say that he gained his wealth from defrauding banks law firms and other businesses out of millions of dollars oh man this guy uh, I wonder if he's a uh super intelligent or just super slick at finessing. He was arrested last month by authorities in the United Arab Emirates. I am surprised that the United Arab Emirates would give this guy up. The FBI's criminal uh, compliant details of how the government has obtained wealth of information trying uh, Abba's to his alleged crime. So it really looks like this guy had a lot of accounts within like Gmail, Instagram, iCloud, and those servers are in America, which means America can get information from them. And America can even get information out of the servers out and around. Like if America had a problem with this guy, uh, he, they could get servers in United Arab Emirates, I believe. Anyway, so RayHutchPuppy at gmail.com included copies of Abba's lease at the luxury hotel in Dubai. In Dubai! He did that from scamming people. He got a luxury hotel room in Dubai and scans the various government uh, issued photo IDs under Abba's, Abba, Abba's name. It's a key, uh, Abba is accused of participating in a number of business email compromise scams by posting as a trusted employee or a customer of a target organization. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Abbas and his uh, fellow fraudster allegedly trick employees into sending large sums uh, to the bank accounts they control. I wonder if this is a situation where people that send them money just don't know what's going on and aren't very computer savvy. Uh, it seems to happen a lot. I've seen it happen a lot. In, uh, in one incident detailed by the FBI complaints, Abba and two co-conspirators allegedly defrauded a law firm in in New York State. The firm needed to wire more than $900,000 on behalf of a client who was closing a real estate deal. The fraudsters tricked the paralegal into sending emails to a fake address uh, purporting to belong to the Citizens Bank. The fraudsters uh, responded by faxing information responded by faxing uh, instruction information for wiring the cash to an account they controlled. A law firm employee attempted to confirm the instructions by calling the phone number on the form but that number was controlled by the scammers by the time the law firm noticed what had happened the funds had gone so if you're messing with the rich you're gonna get the horns that's for sure <laughs> anyways oh wow three or uh, 14.7 million in a cyber heist this guy this guy if he didn't flaunt this stuff, I bet he would have gotten away with it too. The Justice Department says that after arresting Abbas uh, last month, the United Arab Emirates authorities expelled him to the United States where he arrived on Thursday. Usually they have to have an extradi extradition treaty, but I bet that they didn't because I can't see these guys having a treaty with them. Anyways, the FBI says the business uh, email compromise scams and other costs at least $1.7 billion in 2019 alone. Wow, the hubris on this guy. The balls in this guy's pants must be so big. That's freaking amazing. Scamming that much and still wanting all of this. Jeez, that's interesting. He wanted the Instagram. He wanted all that stuff. Huh. But I'm sure if he didn't have any of that stuff, he might have gotten away with it too. Just look at that guy's face. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Level 99 scammer gets punked. Let's hope they actually find those uh, Nigerian scammers that are scamming out grandma and grandpas and mums and dads and uh, not just uh, the business ones. But that's just how she goes sometimes. Good guys win, bad guys lose, and as always, the people with the money prevail. That's just uh, how she goes. Ray Hush Puppies. 
Abbas. Very nice. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Not from Nestack, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, have a good one, folks, and take care of each other.